हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम अगेन टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस व्हाट वी मीन बाय हार्ड वाटर एंड सॉफ्ट वाटर इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू व्हाट वी मीन बाय हार्ड एंड सॉफ्ट वाटर मोर ओवर वी शुड बी आल्सो डिस्कसिंग टाइप्स ऑफ हार्डनेस दैट्स व्हाट वी मीन बाय टेंपरेरी हार्डनेस एंड व्हाट वी मीन बाय परमानेंट हार्डनेस सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड सो बिफोर एक्सप्लेनिंग व्हाट वी मीन बाय हार्ड एंड सॉफ्ट वाटर लेट मी परफॉर्म अ सिंपल एक्सपेरिमेंट आई हैव टेकन हियर टू फ्लास्क फ्लास्क नंबर 1 एंड फ्लास्क नंबर 2 बोथ दीस फ्लास्क्स आर फिल्ड विद वाटर So, flask number one contains rainwater, whereas flask number two it contains water from the tube well. So, what I am going to do, I am going to add soap in both of these flasks containing water. And we know addition of the soap to the water it produces foam, it produces leather. So, let us see what will happen after the addition of the soap to these flasks. Okay, so in the flask number one we have seen lot of foam has been produced. Lot of leather has been produced. One soap has been added to this flask. While in this flask, foam has not been produced or leather has not been produced upon the addition of soap. So this water, which produces leather with the soap, it is called as soft water. So I can call this water as soft water. On the other hand, this water, which does not produce leather, which does not produce foam with the soap, it is called as hard water. So it is hard water. So, what is soft water? Water which produces good leather with the soap is called as soft water. And what we mean by hard water? Water which does not produce good leather, that means which does not produce good foam with the soap, is called as hard water. Now, the question is, why hard water does not produce foam, does not produce leather with the soap? So, obviously, there must be something present. There must be something dissolved in this hard water, which prevents it. from producing leather so let's see okay soft water is having low or no concentration of calcium and magnesium salts unlike hard water means in soft water we have no concentration of calcium and magnesium salts salts of bac what do we mean by bac b stands for bicarbonates s stands for sulfates and c stands for chlorides that means in hard water you have bicarbonates sulfates and chlorides of calcium and magnesium ion whereas soft water does not contain any bicarbonate sulfate or chlorides of calcium ion so let me explain what are those calcium and magnesium salts so calcium it can be either calcium bicarbonate as i have already told you it is bicarbonate sulfate and chloride that means in your hot water you can have either calcium bicarbonate or magnesium bicarbonate you can have either calcium sulfate or magnesium sulfate you can have calcium chloride or magnesium chloride so hard water basically contains these six salts bicarbonates of calcium and magnesium sulfates of calcium and magnesium chlorides of calcium and magnesium whereas soft water either it has low concentration of these salts or it does not have any salt of this kind so what we conclude if we have soft water and you are adding bicarbonate sulfates and chloride salts of calcium and magnesium your water will become hard on the other hand if you have hard water and by somehow you are removing these salts bicarbonate sulfates and chlorides of calcium and magnesium your water will become soft so the easiest way to produce soft water from the hard water is just remove these six salts bicarbonate sulfates and chlorides of calcium and magnesium but the question is why calcium and magnesium salts of bicarbonate sulfates and chlorides makes water hard why these salts if present in the water why they do make it hard so the reason is that we know that this is the soap molecule its formula is c17h35coma sodium citrate so soap molecule consists of long chain and it has one polar group at the end okay and we know soap is water soluble it gets dissolved in the water and once we are adding the soap in the hard water which contains calcium salts or magnesium salts so what happens these calcium ions are replaced this sodium ion since calcium is bivalent so we need two molecules of the soap i have multiplied left side with two so two molecules of the soap will combine with one calcium ion coming from the hard water and what will happen you will get calcium salt of hydrate acid and this compound it is insoluble in the water so it will get precipitated in the form of sacum so what happens in reality 
calcium and the magnesium ion they are trapping those soap molecules and once they trap those soap molecules that soap is not able to produce the foam that soap is not able to produce the leather and once these soap molecules are being trapped by the calcium and magnesium ions this gets precipitated in the form of succum so that's why we don't see any kind of the foam any kind of the leather produced from the hard water so i can write down the reaction in this way also this is c17h35cona that means sodium salt of hydrate acid once you added hot water, since hot water contains calcium salts, I have taken example here with calcium chloride. These calcium ions, they replace these sodium ions and you are getting calcium citrate. And it is an insoluble compound. It gets deposited in the form of precipitate. So what we conclude, what is the difference between hot and soft water? So point number one, hot water does not produce any leather with the soap. It does not produce any foam or it produces less foam with the soap. On the other hand, soft water produces good foam with the soap. So point number second, the hardness of the water is due to the presence of dissolved salts of calcium and the magnesium. The calcium and the magnesium salts of the bicarbonates, sulfates and chlorates make it hard. On the other hand, the soft water does not contain dissolved salts of calcium and the magnesium. Third point is, large quantity of soap is required during washing in case of hot water because part of soap is being trapped by the calcium and the magnesium salts and that gets precipitated. On the other hand, in soft water, small quantity of the soap is required during wash. So we know that the presence of the dissolved salts, they increase the boiling point. And you might be knowing about elevation in boiling point. If you are adding salt, boiling point increases. So you need more fuel for cooking if you are having hot water. On the other hand, here less fuel is required for cooking. Okay, now we will discuss types of hardness. Hardness is of two types. One is called temporary hardness and another is called permanent hardness. So what do we mean by temporary hardness? So before explaining the terms, what do we mean by temporary and permanent? I again want to tell you that hardness of the water is due to three kinds of the salts. Calcium and the magnesium salts of bicarbonates, sulfates and chlorides. Okay, what do we mean by temporary hardness? Temporary hardness is due to the presence of bicarbonates. So the hardness which is due to the presence of bicarbonates of calcium and magnesium. That is called as temporary hardness. That means the hardness which is due to calcium bicarbonate and magnesium bicarbonate. This kind of hardness is called a temporary hardness. Why it is called temporary hardness? Because if you boil the liquid, this hardness can be removed. For example, I have taken here calcium bicarbonate. It is present in the hot water. It is soluble. And once you boil it, it gets converted into calcium carbonate. This calcium carbonate will be deposited in the form of precipitate and it will produce carbon dioxide that will escape out plus water. So the water which we are getting after boiling that contains insoluble calcium carbonate. This insoluble calcium carbonate is in the form of precipitate and we can easily remove it with the help of filtration process. So similarly if you have magnesium bicarbonate if you boil it it will produce magnesium carbonate along with carbon dioxide and the water. The magnesium carbonate that is produced, that is insoluble, it is in the form of a state. And later on this magnesium carbonate may get converted into magnesium hydroxide, that is also insoluble. And we can remove these carbonates with the help of filtration process. So what we conclude, hardness due to bicarbonate and the calcium and the magnesium can be removed with boiling, followed by filtration, hence it is called a temporary hardness, permanent hardness. This type of the hardness is due to presence of sulfates and chlorides of calcium and magnesium. That means these four salts, that is calcium sulfate, magnesium sulfate, calcium chloride and magnesium chloride. The hardness due to these four types of the salts is called as permanent hardness. So why hardness due to these salts is permanent? The reason behind is that if you boil the water, our water cannot become soft. Hardness due to these salts cannot be removed. Hence, we can call it as permanent hardness. So I can write down here, since hardness due to sulfates and chlorides of calcium and the magnesium cannot be removed with boiling, hence it is called permanent hardness. So thanks for watching this video.